Hey, good morning everybody. Beautiful Friday morning. I wanted to push out a few videos for y'all for more than sports. Welcome to anybody that's new to the channel. Uh, hopefully I can get a like, a free subscribe. Uh, we're trying to build a community here. I'm trying to build my brand and, and channel up. We talk about it, literally everything, sports, movies, music, uh, game, video games, but mostly sports because that's something we all love and cherishing our life and right now it's really hard not having any sports because of this uh virus so hopefully everybody stays at home or we we can open back up and we can get these sports rolling but uh i do want to talk about today uh something but i do want to bring up real quick i made a video a couple days ago on top five running backs in my opinion again all my videos are just my opinion on things it's not going to agree it's not going to be the same opinion with all you guys or anybody that's in the chat but i would love to just share my opinions i would love for you to hit me up on twitter or instagram ak moro 8 have a conversation with me bring, send me some links send me send me whatever y'all want to discuss uh what y'all think what's y'all's opinions uh, I would. I'll, I'll listen. I'll open. I'll read. I'll listen. I got all the time in the world. I, I, will, I will listen to anything y'all have to bring up. I made a video of top five running backs in my opinion. I would love to get some uh, some shout outs from you guys or some, of who you think. If I left somebody off my list on my opinion, who you guys think uh, top five running backs in y'all in y'all's eyes are or whatever. Uh, but today's video is going to be something that I cherish a lot. I'm a big Texas Longhorn fan. Everybody that is my friend circle knows I'm a huge Texas Longhorn fan. I ride or die it, through the bad times, through the good times, through the terrible times, uh, <laughs> through the 17,000 coaches that we go through and <laughs> just find the right one and to get back to maybe get back in these championships. I would love for us to get back in these championships, but... Right now, I'm going to talk about the 2020-2021 season coming up. Who I think is going to be three stars that are going to have an immediate impact from their recruiting trail that they just had this past 2019-2020, early 2020 uh, recruiting trail. And this is my outlook on their season, what I hope to see. Um, three players that I think are going to have immediate impact from their recruiting trail. One is is going to be a surprise, and y'all and and you might not agree with me, but I, in my opinion, I, there's something special about the kid, Kelvante Dixon from Carthage. Carthage, first of all, state champions. I think eight out of the ten years, the last ten years, they they're unstoppable. They're a machine dynasty in high school football here in Texas, and Carthage players always always move on to the college level and do pretty well pretty well for themselves whether they be two star three star you know four star recruits they usually move on and do pretty well and some have made it to the league they're in the league right now as we speak Pelvante Dixon he's registered as an athlete but let me tell you something I think he's going to be a running back and I'll tell you why. They got him listed as an athlete. He might be a receiver. He, he's a good possibility he could be a receiver, but I think he would fit well as one of those Darren Sproles, uh, something side running back that does a little flashy, you know, da flashy and dashy. Uh, <clears throat> I think he's going to have an immediate impact from day one, uh, hopefully this next season. Uh, Jaquindon Jackson is another one from Duncanville, the quarterback. I don't. I'm not sold yet if he's going to stay a quarterback in the college level. They might put him at receiver. You know, most of those running quarterbacks and those uh, quarterbacks that are just raw talent and athletes or whatever, they usually don't stay at quarterback. I mean, you could take a chance on them, and may, they might flourish and be – they might turn into the next Vince Young. Who knows? I hope so, but we'll see. I think he's going to be – he's also on the watch list, though, on what he's going to do. Uh, the quarterback job is pretty much solidified, and love or hate the guy, the man puts up stats, and the man is a tough SOB. Sam Ellinger is going to have a hell of a year, guys. He is going to have a hell of a year. Do I do I think he's an elite quarterback? Do I think he's going to go to the league and be like, oh, my gosh, he's, he's amazing? I don't think so. I think he'll be just a decent quarterback. I think he'll make it to the NFL – 
but he will be just decent. It, just, it all depends on this season. It's going to come down to what he does this season. Last season, had a lot of problems, but he was still putting up stats. He wasn't turning the ball over too much. Uh, he wasn't turn, it's just he wasn't also given that you know ignite or whatever. He had his moments and everything, whatever. But um, I think he's going to have a great year. Uh, but Jaquinta Jackson on the recruiting trail, Dunkerville, he's going to learn a lot under uh, Ellinger if he does stay at quarterback. Um, if not, then he will have to transition and learn learn a new system, receiver, whatever they put him at. But he's going to be a breakout star, I think, immediate impact, though. They will use him in some way. Uh, the other one is Bajan Robinson. Now, this was their five-star recruit from Arizona. I think he's from Tuscan. Arizona, Tucson, however you pronounce, I don't know, Tucson, or whatever you pronounce it. Uh, I don't keep up with Arizona and all them other states. We, we're Texas around here, all right? <laughs> we only care about Texas. Texas folks. Texas high school football, everything. <laughs> but if Tucson, t- whatever, uh, Arizona, he, Bajan Robinson, he is the five-star recruit that they picked up. They signed him, and he's listed running back. Let me tell you about Longhorns real quick. Our running back situation has been as abysmal since Jamal Charles. It's been non-existent since Jamal. I, I'm pretty sure Jamal Charles. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna be honest. Everybody's forgettable after Jamal Charles. They they used to have Ricky Williams. I mean, we used to running backs used to be in full force. At the Texas Longhorns, it didn't. I mean, in some way or form, even if they weren't running backs, like pounding the ball through the middle, they were catching backs. They were. I mean, they were a little bit of everything. So our running backs, though, have not been good. They have not been good. They haven't been consistent. So I'm hoping that Bajan Robinson comes in immediately, gets the starting position, immediately becomes the badass uh, running back that Texas Longhorns need in their life to move the chains, run the ball, because that is what has been killing Texas so much, the inability to run the ball. They might be able to score a lot of points. Their offense has been lightning and flashy, and Texas has been doing their thing. They have been. They've been doing their thing as far as flashy and throwing the ball and all that kind of stuff. But they haven't been able to run it, so the clock has still got plenty of time on the hands, and the other team just outscores us. That's just what's been happening. They're outscoring us. And I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I think we're going to have a good season. Bajon Robinson, uh, Kelvante Dixon, and uh, Jaquinda Jackson uh, from Duncanville. Uh, those three are the watch. Now, let me get to quickly to the um, the season itself. Ellinger, I think everybody's going to have a great year. Uh, I think the offense is going to be rolling on all cylinders like they should be. I mean, they're hell, they're all seniors, and they should be rolling on all cylinders. Now, granted, I have been... And I, let me tell you, when I rage at the TV, when I watch Texas Longhorn games, I rage so much because even our offense, is, when it is rolling, I can't stand our offensive coordinators in these past years. They have called the most conservative piece of crap plays that I've ever seen in my entire existence. It's just so conservative, so, oh, let's get some short passes, let's get some uh, five yards, let's get some screen passes, let's get some, like, uh, just get the first down, uh, let's throw it down the field every now and then, but but they're, like, so predictable, and everybody, all the defenses and coaches on the other side of the field for the opponent are like, are they kid, Are they playing with us right now? Are they punking us right now? We're going to stop that shit in a heartbeat. Because that is what that it's just been so terrible on play calling. Thank God Ellinger and the, the offense has been making something happen on offense and scoring some points with what they've been pre- uh, presented and given, uh, which is very surprising. The problem that we've had for the past years, past few years, the defense has been absolutely trash. I mean, the defense beyond belief, Texas Longhorns defense, has been trash. The last time we had a good defense was way back in 2000, I'd say, I'd say 2008. 2008. So, after Vince Young left, 
2006, 2007, 2008, we had Colt McCoy. But that was the last time we also had a damn good defense that could shut down some people. Everybody, our defense has been absolutely atrocious and trash for years. And, and, and I won't even give it all to the defensive line, even though they are partly to blame because they're not getting any pressure on any of these star, superstar quarterbacks and all this crap. But our secondary is, is the one that just sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Everybody is air raiding the crap out of us, beating the hell out of us. And then when we finally do tighten up on the secondary, they all of a sudden unleash the beast. Uh, running quarterbacks or like run and they just slide right through running bags and everything or whatever you have to be tight on all cylinders on defense just like right now our offense is pretty tight on all cylinders it's not perfect but it's good enough to, to get points on the board to score to move the ball down the field as long as the play calling is good uh so that's my outlook i think texas is going to have a good season do i think they're going to win the big 12 there's no reason why they shouldn't win the Big 12 this year. There's not one. There was, to be honest, there was no reason last year they did as poor, piss poor in Big 12. They, there was no reason last year at all that they shouldn't have won the Big 12. I don't care who you are. I don't care what opinion you have on that. There was no real reason why the Texas Longhorns, you are a Division One school with unlimited resources, unlimited power, unlimited influence in the state of Texas, unlimited money, to be honest, and you're just putting up subpar seasons. Subpar. Mediocre. Like a like a like a f- fourth place team in in any conference division. A fourth and fifth place team. And it's just it's it's it blows my mind that we can't get this. Is Tom Herman the answer? This is his last year. If he doesn't produce at least a ten in one season or whatever, one loss just one loss at the most I would allow it if he puts it puts up another four loss five loss anything, anything like that get him out of there get him out of there and I like Tom Herman don't get me wrong I like him and uh, I don't like how he coaches his other coaches because they're not producing but do I think Tom Herman's the answer I think he could be if he just tightens up and they they like i said go out and only lose at the most allowed one game this season and have a good year win the bowl game boom or go to the playoff go at least get in the playoff at least get in the playoff for some way or at least crack the top 10 get in the top 10 at the end of the season crack it top eight you crack it and at least be there we know we're moving in the right direction and everything's going smooth but this the season, this season coming up, as long as we have a season, football, I think Texas Longhorns will win the Big 12. The three players I mentioned at the beginning of the video will be the breakout stars immediate impact. Um, and I think our offense is going to roll. It's going to all depend on the defense, though. It's going to all depend on the defense. Because you got teams in the Big 12 that are ready to air raid. You got teams that are ready to run the ball tough on you. You got te- you got a mixture. The good thing about the Big 12's offenses are they're they're pretty uh, diversified on how they do things. Now against the SEC, if the if Texas went up against any of the SEC teams this year, because I haven't seen much on the recruiting trail for the SEC and everything. I think they could beat a handful of them. Do I think they could beat Alabama or LSU? Not not right now, but give it about two years. If we go in the right direction, obviously, like I said, uh, maybe. Yeah, we can hang with the well, we can hang with the big boys, I think. But uh, this is it's going to come down to this season. Tom Herman's on the chopping block if he doesn't produce this year. The offensive coordinators, I need to see something. I need some bold. I need some courage, some brave freaking play calls coming from the offense with as many weapons as we have on offense. Is Ellinger at quarterback slinging the ball pretty well? Like, be brave. Go for some of this stuff or whatever. <clears throat> Obviously, don't turn it over, but, I mean, try a few things. Try to mix it up. Defense, they're going to have to tighten up. Let me tell you something. 
if the secondary doesn't show me something this year that they can stop any sort of passing whatsoever, we're in for a long more five year four four or five more years, guys, as Longhorn fans. This is it's so disappointing. Uh, please like, subscribe this video. That's my outlook on Texas Longhorns. Hopefully, it's just my opinion. If y'all want, uh, you can send in to me and, and what what y'all think. Uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, AK Moro Eight, or you can comment on here. I'll read I read the comments on here too. Uh, y'all could send in and tell me what y'all think about uh, the Texas Longhorns or your opinion on what they should do. Uh, and I'll be happy to address it and and talk to you guys, uh, have a conversation. Uh, our next video will be over the Houston Astros. If we do get to have a season, or even if it goes to next year on the baseball season, we will be talking about the Houston Astros in the next video. Uh, I also have another video coming up today, and it's a it's one that you guys will enjoy as Houston Texans fans. And I know a lot of my friends and my Facebook and everything will enjoy it too. As Texans fans, it's actually a little bit of a rant. It will be uh, over Bill O'Brien and some things the Texans need to do <laughs> for the future. I know we all love Bill, Bill O'Brien. He's a national treasure, ain't he? And a state treasure. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh that will be the next video that so y'all like subscribe please help me build my brand help me build my channel up i'm, I'm looking to go back to school for this i, I would really love to talk sports with y'all I, I love sports so just hit me up and i will have a conversation or send in your uh videos like i said i did a top five running backs if y'all want to send in y'all's top five send them to me or comment on whatever you want to do all right thank y'all y'all have a blessed day and we i will see y'all in the next video i will be producing those videos today couple more content. All right. Thank you.